Hi, Mark here from PondAlgaeSolutions.com. Thanks for joining me today. In this short video, I want to talk a little bit about dosing properly using beneficial bacteria. This is one of the most common problems I see or mistakes that I see uh, that pond owners make when they're using a natural product like this. Now keep in mind one of the big benefits of using something like uh, healthy microbes is that the safety uh, factor is huge. In other words, it's very difficult to overdose with something like this, but you can underdose and end up with poor results. So I want to provide a little bit of advice on that, uh, and I'll use this as an example. So this is our Pond Biotics SP product for small ponds. Now there's a recommended dosing on this label. Uh, for a 200 gallon pond, you might use a few ounces of that product. And it has a frequency um, element to it too. Every few weeks you would apply some of the product and, and it would uh, likely be helpful to the pond. So the thing is, is that every product, no matter the brand, no matter the form that the microbial comes in, it could be liquid powder, could be like our Biosphere Pro, which is kind of unique. Um, but all of these products have a dosing suggestion. Uh, let's say you use this much for this many gallons. Well, when you see that suggestion, that is certainly the right place to start. But I want you to think of it as a baseline. It is a threshold you should not go below, at least initially, when you're starting out. Now, you may see, as time goes on, pond improves, things get better, you can start to reduce uh, the dosage below the suggested level and still find benefit just in a maintenance uh, aspect. But when you're first starting out, you have to at least use enough uh, microbials for the pond volume that you're working with. That's very important. Now, the second thing to consider here is that these microbials are nutrient um, consumers, meaning that the way that they help clean a pond, and particularly the way that they help deal against a problem like algae, is they outcompete it for the nutrients in the pond, the nitrogen or the phosphorus, and they will either lock up these nutrients or consume them themselves, and so the algae has no fuel to bloom, and it will often regress when you get the dosage right. But the nutrients are a key component of this whole equation. So if you don't lock up those nutrients, if you don't use enough microbial to take care of the nutrient load that you have, you may not see much of an improvement in the problem. So it's a matter of initial dosing, baseline, following the recommended uh, label instructions, but then considering using a little higher dose. And I've used sometimes in, in certain places uh, up to two times the suggested dose in order to pr turn a pond around and to get it looking better. Uh, it's not a quick fix, keep in mind, but over a period of weeks, you should see improvement in the condition, particularly where algae is concerned with string algae, let's say. You should see a notable improvement over a, a few weeks' time if you get the dosing right. So you have to use enough, and uh, and you can do so with the idea or the mentality that it is very safe to use. There's just no downside to that. The one drawback, if you use way too much microbial, if somebody goes way, way overboard, they can create some cloudy water. And that's easily resolved with time and maybe some water changes. But most people will never see that because if you use something like two times the suggested dosage for a little while in the beginning, there's really no downside to that at all. Now, I do suggest, and I think it's a great idea, not only to optimize the microbial activity and support their work, but also just to protect fish in very, very hot weather, I think it's a great idea to have some aeration going with the use of these microbials. The microbes do need a little bit of oxygen and they will pull some oxygen as they start to ramp up and work, but usually it's so gradual and very, very subtle that you won't see too many problems uh, for fish or, or other critters in the pond uh, compared to using a chemical that is very quick to react and kill something off. That's where people end up getting into a lot of trouble when they, when they shock a pond with an algicide, let's say. So it's still a good idea, though, to use good, robust aeration whenever you're trying to support microbial work and to protect fish in hot weather. So I think it's, it's just a rational thing to have in place uh, to begin with. But at any rate, uh, hopefully those tips will help you get better results when you use a microbial. No matter the brand, no matter the form, you want to start with a baseline dosage and make sure you don't go under that recommended level for your gallon volume and then work up from there 
until you start to see results and sometimes going as far as double the dosage to see if you can get things to start shifting for the better in your pond. Hope you have a good day there. If you have any questions, be sure to stop by and visit us at pondalgesolutions.com. Uh, write into us and happy to help if you have any questions. So have a good day wherever you are.